Hi mate, nice to see you today. Just want to go over a few things we discussed during today's lesson. Um, really the first thing was relating to your setup position and making sure that the weights on the bowls that you see in the setup and throughout the golf swing, you just got into a case where your weight just drifted back to heel slightly, which then brought you away from the golf ball and slightly affected the balance. The next part of it was the extension of your golf swing. So looking at the backswing there, you can see that your left arm is nicely extended in that backswing. So now we need to maintain that extension all the way through into impact and then continue that extension into the follow through position. So as you can see coming down into the golf ball, as you're maintaining that extension through, you can just see as you're approaching impact, as your left elbow starts to buckle. So the extension there hasn't been maintained. And then as we continue that swing into the follow through, you see as your elbow, left elbow bends and moves backwards. And also you create a little bit of separation there between your left elbow and your body. So you're becoming disconnected in the swing. And as we continue that follow through, you can see that right arm in this position should mirror image the back swing. So you now your right arm should be extended, which it isn't. And again, that's caused because your left elbow has buckled and worked its way backwards. Um, just looking at that a little bit more closely, so as approaching impact there, you can see that your left elbow is um, slightly bent, which again, as we said, takes the club slightly away from the, from the ground. So you, you are struggling to hit the ground um, consistently during the golf swings. Also, you see there that your club head is now taking over your hands we want the golf club to, the hands, sorry, to lead the golf club into the impact position. So you're getting the descending blow into the golf ball. As we mentioned, when the club head takes over your hands, it's now on its way up, away from the ground. So you're, you're trying to lift the ball or catch it on the upswing. And again, with the slightly, a little bit of flex there in your left arm at impact, again, though, you're not quite, down at the ground getting underneath the golf ball this is relating to a lot of the thin shots and the top shots you've been hitting um, so if we just do a quick comparison with Luke Donnelly on the right hand side you can see he's maintained his extension all the way through into impact and you can see just as his approaching impact you can see the straight left arm and the club head is behind his hands. His hands are leading that club head into the golf ball, so he's getting a descending blow into the ball, whereas yours, as the club head takes over, you're trying to scoop the ball up in the air and trying to lift it into the sky, whereas Luke's actually hitting it down into the floor, and he's using the golf club to get the ball up into the sky. Again, as he goes into the follow through position, he maintains that extension with his right arm, so the, the follow through is a mirror image of his backswing. So what we did, we gave you a couple of drills to work on. Uh, one was swinging the club with your left arm, which swinging the club with your left arm maintains the extension. It gives you feelings of maintaining the extension and your hands lead in the club head. We also worked a little bit on your rotation of your forearms. You tended to flick your wrist, which allowed the club head to take over your hands. So we wanted the hands to lead the club into the shot and I wanted to rotate your forearm so another little drill we gave you to do was to work on the rotation but also swing the club one handed so with the left hand on its own with your right hand across your chest holding your left arm just above the elbow and again we wanted you to make the swing come into impact with your hands lead on the club head and allowing your left hand then to rotate and then your right arm is holding it in position as your left arm rotates and then buckles in position. So it's staying connected to your body and allowing your body and the rotation of the club and everything to work much more naturally. So, good luck with that. Uh, if you've got any problems, just give me a call. But on the other hand, I'll look forward to seeing you again very soon.